The Burma Road, extending from Rangoon, Chongqing, China, is sure to be the scene of more conflict than ever before. And it is to the Burma Road that we go in today's transcribed adventure of Harry and the Pirates. So listen closely. Harry and the Pirates is brought to you by the makers of Libby's Pineapple Juice, one of Libby's hundred famous foods. Once upon a time, Connie and Big Stoop went to buy supplies for a trip to Shanghai. They bought them in the little mountain village of Pitai. And the words on the list were spelled very queerly. In fact, it was a jumbled shopping list. Figuring out the meaning of those strange words is a swell game. And some kids like it even better than the game of Chinese educational checkers. Now, both games are included with lots of other kinds of fun in the Terry Adventure Game Book. Now, you'd better send for your copy right off and see what your favorite of all of its games, puzzles, tricks, coloring pages, and adventures. Now, the way to get your Terry game book is just this. You simply send two Libby's labels, no money, to Terry, care of Libby's, Chicago. Isn't that a wonderful break, boys and girls? To get this sensational book full of thrills and entertainment you can't get anywhere else, and to get all that free for just two Libby labels. Now, the labels you need are one from Libby's pineapple juice and one from Libby's tomato juice. Now, you probably know how keen-tasting those juices are. And they've got vitamins, too. So ask Mother right after the show to get a can of Libby's pineapple juice and one of Libby's tomato juice. Take the labels off the can, write your full name and address on the back of one, and mail to Terry, care of Libby's, L-I-B-B-Y-S, Chicago, Illinois. Gosh, what fun you're going to have. And now, Terry and the Pirates. And now, the big question in today's adventure is, will young Terry Lee be able to impersonate the injured aviator, Johnny Somber? Now, this chap Somber looks like Terry, and has told Terry exactly what to do when he meets Captain Blaze, the pirate of the Burma Road. But Terry is worried about meeting the captain's daughter, Cherry Blaze, who is fond of Somber and who will naturally mistake Terry for Somber. Well, let's join Terry as he talks the situation over with a gal who should know the answer, our lovely Burma. Well, as long as I look like Somber and can almost talk like me, I ought to get by. But it's meeting this Cherry Blaze that worries me. Somber said she was crazy about him and... Oh, gee, I don't want to be bothered by girls. <laughs> That's a quaint name, isn't it, Terry? Imagine anybody calling that child Cheery Blaze. <laughs> I wonder who she is. Is what? Cheery. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cheer up yourself, Terry. Maybe the gal isn't interested in Johnny Somber anymore. Yeah, I hope so. He said he hadn't seen her in three months, and that was in Singapore. But, Grandma, do you think a woman is as easy to deceive as a man? Well, that depends on the woman, Terry. Some women can be fooled easily. Well, like April, for instance. She'll believe the moon's made of green cheese if you say so in the right tone of voice. Well, I guess I can't have everything my own way. I agreed to help capture Captain Blaze, and I'll do my best. It's all part of this war effort, and I want to do my part. Well, you can say that again. Why do you suppose I came out here to this Chinese orphanage with April? So we can be of service. Okay. Okay. About ready to show off? Oh, hello, Pat. Yeah, I suppose so. Just talking to Burma about my visit to Captain Blaze and all. Uh-huh. Well, I suppose you know we're headed for trouble. I don't feel very gay about it, and what you say doesn't help. Well, look, I don't mind you doing secret service work. It isn't that. But I hate to see you try to do it alone. Well, it just so happens that I look like Johnny Sun. And he was a British intelligence man working with the Dragon Lady. Yeah, I know. But I've been thinking things over, and I think I'll go with you. Oh, Pat. Now wait before you all oh, pat me. But you don't look like anybody, Pat. I never said I did. Will you both pipe down a second? Okay. Now look, nobody knows who Captain Blaze is or what he looks like. Isn't that so? Not even Johnny Somber knows. Yeah. Well, the only one who knows anybody is the captain's daughter, Cherry Blaze. She knew Somber. That was three months ago, right? Right. So... What's the harm if I join your exclusive little party? Why can't I be your assistant? Why can't I pretend to represent the Dragon Lady, too? But, Pat, I, I don't see... Don't you. see what? Well, after all, I, I mean... Well, golly... You see? You don't see. What do you think, beautiful? Mr. Ryan, you can pick yourself into more trouble than I... 
Oh, sure. You, you got a bomb-proof argument. You're just itching to step out and meet Captain Blaze. Oh, huh? no. Now you're being difficult, Burma. I just want to help Terry. Yeah, you're anxious to get going, that's all. Well, Terry, I'm afraid Pat's got an argument. There's no real reason why he shouldn't go with you. After all, he's a complete clown here at the orphanage. But what about Jude and Connie and you in April? Why shouldn't all of you visit Captain Blaine? Oh, now you're exaggerating, Terry. You know, it wouldn't work. Well, what would General Chang say about you going with me? He would say yes. Yeah? Yes. In fact, I've talked to him. He's already said yes. No. Yes. So now we're all set. We shove off this evening. An army truck will take us about 50 miles from here. Then, according to Somber, who oh, I've been talking to him, too, we'll have to walk to a certain spot in the mountains. And then, if we're lucky, we'll meet Captain Blaze or somebody will take us to him. Before the war, expected to fall apart any minute. Well, the trucks on this road take an awful pounding. A couple of four trips along the Burma Road near City. Yeah, I bet the, the drivers are finished too. It's a fucking bunk, if you ask me. How long have we been trying to hold on? We haven't covered any 50 miles, if that's what you mean. Enjoying the ride, April? Why don't they slow down? The driver's in a hurry. It's a bad part of the road. Well, I'm more, I know that. Looking hard to stand up back here. No, Captain, you don't understand. This is a great place for air raids. Yeah, I, I think Jude told me about this part of the road. That it's always being repaired. Bomb craters filled in. Oh, dear. And this truck has to bring me all the way back. With a baby in my arms. I'll be a wreck. Well, you will wanted to come. We wanted to bring back that orphan child. And... Well, somebody had to come and get it, Terry. My glory be. You can't let a little baby stay out here in the mountains all alone. Well, the, the baby isn't alone. Some people have the child. But they have to leave and they want Mrs. Finch to take the baby to the orphanage. Uh-huh. That's what I said. <laughs> okay. You'll win. Right. I thought a nice ride in the night would do me good. But I never expected this. Look, sugar. When are you going to get it through your pretty head that there's a war on? This is the most dangerous highway in the world today. The Burma Road. Wait, that. Listen. Plane. Where? so dark. The lights are anything. Never mind where they are, Kitten. Me and Steve. Where are you playing? Where are you Come playing? Come on. Come on. Let's get out of the way. The driver says those are invader planes. Come on. Over oh, here, Terry. Oh, Come on. Terry, hurry up. Over here. Oh, Let's get out of the way. Oh, 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 oh. And as the invader's planes crossed and recrossed the Burma Road, raining their destruction, our friends sought safety and shelter among the rocks. And in the darkness, which was lit now and then by the falling explosives, they waited until the planes continued on their way. And then April said, It's dark around here. Yeah. Come along now. We'll make our... Careful, eh? We'll make our way back to the truck. I doubt if we'll find much of anything. Look out. Watch those rocks. Take it. Yeah, look, look here. This, this bomb crater. The, the truck was just about here. There's nothing. Nothing left at all. Well, yeah, come on. Let's get away from here and decide what to do. We'll, we'll have to stick together. Look out there. This spot on the Burma Road is a forsaken place. Hey, Pat, 
I've got a fire here among these rocks. It's cold. Well, I suppose we can try it. It's freezing. He just got out of one thing. He was sitting here and... Well, I'll go look for some work, Harry. You help, too. Okay. Don't wander off too far. Rocky walls might lead over some cliff. Oh! Oh! Oh, Mr. Rand, did you hear that? Well, that's just a Chinese timber wolf. They won't hurt you. But don't go too far. Don't worry, I won't. Well, Pat, now what do we do? It's about April. I've been thinking about that. There's no truck to take her back to the shield. The Berlin dude in the orphanage. We must be at least 50 miles from there. Oh, this is a mess. Now, uh, how we ever contact Captain Blaze? Look, I'm glad to be here with a whole hide. I'm not worried about meeting Captain Blaze. Well, but that was our job. The meeting. Capturing. Well, maybe we can even capture the dragon lady. Get those people off the road. Yeah, I know, I know. We're trying to clean the Burma Road of hijackers and smugglers and all that, but let's get organized first. Look, all we have are the clothes we have on. Well, we've got guns. <laughs> Lucky us. And we've got some food. Huh? Yeah, when I jumped out of the truck, I grabbed the knapsack, and here it is. Yeah, and there's food in it. Well, now you're cooking with oxygen, Terry. Well, but what will we do about April? Well, let's worry about that in the morning. We're going to stay here all night? What else? Yeah. What else? I got some sticks and things. Maybe we can burn. Ooh. I think that's pretty good because I can't feel things. Just have to feel around. That's fine, kitten. I get busy and make a fire. Well, not too big, Terry. Just enough to huddle around. Sure is grand to have two big men looking after poor old me. Uh, there's nothing of it. Of course, this falls all my plans. I don't know where to go and get that baby from those people. The driver of the truck is going to take me down back. Yeah. We're lucky to be here talking about it. But all this buying and all, that will spoil your plan, Mr. Ryan. Well, why not? Well, you and Terry were going to see Captain Blaze. Blaze. The name is Blaze. So you can just go right ahead. I know, but well, what about you? Oh, don't bother about me. I'll just go along with you. Well, this complicates things, I'd say, with April Kane compelled to join the party. But uh, what else is there to do? She can't get back to the orphanage alone. In just a moment, I'll tell you what happens as the sun rises on our three friends who were lucky enough to escape the invaders' planes. Now, believe me, boys and girls, it will be a red-letter day for you, all right, when you get your Terry game book. The swell time you'll have with all those games and puzzles and the excitement, reading about Terry and the ruby of Genghis Khan. You'll wonder why in the world you didn't send for that book sooner, especially since it's free. Two Libby labels are all you need to get it. A label from Libby's tomato juice and one from Libby's pineapple juice. You simply write your full name and address on the back of one and mail the labels to Terry in care of Libby, Chicago, Illinois. Send right away, kids, to Terry, care of Libby, Chicago. And now be sure to join us for tomorrow's transcribed adventure. Terry, Pat, and April are due for a surprise as they open their eyes after an uncomfortable night in the lonely pass along the Burma Road. They're not as much alone as they thought.